Hey guys, this is Sean with Integrity Ranch. We just got done with a uh, cattle drive with trucks and trailers. We're uh, at one of our lease farms. It's about six miles away from our house, so we have to have to trailer our cows here. Got my brother's helping me, so it's nice to have people owing you a favor times like this. We just trailered 113 head. It took us six trips total. Um, yeah, we're excited to get back over to this piece because it's uh, it's super dry and this piece has some pretty decent grass. It has some warm season, so really kind of hoping that'll save us. Show you guys a little bit of how dry it is. We haven't been to this farm since uh, April. And so it's had pretty much all of all the spring growth is what you see here. But we made, I drove up this, you know, it's not exactly a road, but this is kind of how you get up top. I just kind of drive in the same spot when I come. And shoot, it's been five days ago. We drove on this and where the tire tracks are, the grass just completely died. And it's, it's compacted here. This is kind of a, you know, it's a, a spot of traffic. So the soil is pretty compacted, but you can just see the dead spots. I mean... We just so dry, really need some rain. But yeah, we uh, we trailer the cows around from time to time. We'll run them from lease piece to lease piece, but eventually we run out. You know, they stop touching each other, and this piece is a, it's a good jag. You know, there's really no way to cattle drive six miles down a highway, so we just load them up and trailer them. Our cows are all... Super easy to trailer, super gentle to get in the crowd. Taking advantage of the tight area. There's a load. Last load. This is wrapping up our cattle trailer and event for the day. Pretty much just load themselves. Hey, 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 hey. Aside from some calves, maybe. Whoop, whoop, whoop. On to fresh grass. It's house down at Integrity Ranch. Come on, little gives. Come on. Fresh grass. Anybody close the gate? And so it's really, aside from rounding up, you know, some help to do it, that's the thing that I hate the most about it, is you kind of have to rely on other people, but you just keep people owing you a favor and it's not too big of a deal. Aside from that, it's really not too bad. Well, you get maybe covered in a little bit of cow crap as you're loading them, but aside from those two things, it's not too bad. But, uh, so yeah, we trailer, you know, back and forth from a couple lease pieces and I talked to Greg and Ian about this and they both said you know to uh, keep trailer them don't split the herd up keep that keep that mob together and so that's what we're gonna keep doing if for nothing else I think it's worth it you know once every 50 to to 80 days so Roughly two to three months we trailer. And in the meantime, you know, I have one herd to check on. Versus if I split those up every night or every other night, I'd have to go check on two herds versus one. And so to me, it adds up. You know, I talked it with talked it over with Greg and Ian, and to them it, it made good sense. So it's what we're shooting for. 
gets a little hard in the summer like it's gonna get to 101 degrees today and it got hotter than that yesterday so we had to get up and get it done before it got too hot but uh you know we got some decent food here it's not the best but i was talking to some old guys in town and uh this is the driest anyone alive ha can remember it around here last time anyone thinks it's been this dry in our area was in 1949 48 and 49 just after the dust bowl sometime and the old guys that were were talking about it they were alive then but they were just kids they don't really remember it mostly just going off of you know stories and wells running dry you know there's some wells back then that went dry and they've had water in them all the way until this year so yeah we thought 22 hit us 2022 hit us pretty pretty hard but uh 2022 was a was a breezy year compared to this year i mean it is so dry this year kind of makes me depressed talking about it but i just stay optimistic keep moving the cows um i can tell you one thing if i wasn't doing this regenerative and moving cows trying to build some soil I wouldn't have grass right now, I'd be like everyone around me. And that would, uh, that would be a lot more depressing than this. So yeah, it's super dry. There's our bull, we call him Tank. He's been hard at it the last couple days since he got turned in covering his ladies yeah if we weren't uh, moving cows and you know regenerative ranching so to say I really don't know where we'd be right now I don't know that we'd have any grass and a little breeze just come over and that feels amazing it's I think it's 9 o'clock and it's about 90 degrees already, so it's pretty warm out there. Um, but yeah, touch kind of a little bit about, you know, trailering. You know, this is possible when you have animals that are, that are docile and, and load up real easy. They get going to crawl no problem. I mean, when we first started doing this, we've been doing it a couple years now. We had some cows that just one cow could turn the whole day into just a wreck and so you get rid of them keep getting rid of the ones that do that because it kind of seems like for a while you get rid of the one leader and there'll be another one that shows itself but you do that a couple times and you know start with good stock and eventually you just have a herd of cows i mean that are just nice and tame. I mean, all these cows, they're, they're not pets. I don't need to scratch their head, but they're not worried that I'm standing right here. I mean, this is our latest calf. So we trailer with calves and everything, try to keep the loads not too packed so these calves can stay standing up. And I mean, he was, it's Friday and he was born on Saturday, uh, Sunday. So he's not very old. But he, he made it fine. But yeah, all our all our herd bulls we load out in the when it's time to take them to the cows. This year we loaded all our herd bulls with uh, poly wire out in the pasture, loaded them in the trailer. Um, we have a video of that. I'll, I'll post that video so you guys can kind of see. And all right, bud, head to the trailer. <laughs> Well, there he goes. Have plenty of ladies where we're taking you, bud. And that really helps. Your bull is a huge part of your herd, guys, and selecting a good bull's quite cheap. You know, 
you think some of these bulls are expensive, but think, you know, 50% of your calves are coming from him, so it's worth paying for. Yeah, we got some videos of loading the cows and unloading the cows. We'll uh, try to have my wife uh, make one long video out of this. I'm not really sure how that works, but she knows how to do it. So, Thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up if you would and subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you.